at the Niaru Mentang Orangutan Rescue Center, project manager Lona Drasher Nielsen is facing one of the toughest dilemmas ever in her 15 years rescuing orphaned orangutans. Over the past weeks, she's observed Bonita physically suffering in her relationship with adopted daughter, Randa. It's been 10 months since Bonita was rushed back to the clinic with some of her classmates, suffering from a mystery bacterial infection. After weeks of intensive care, her classmates returned home. But Bonita took longer to recover and was depressed. Until one day, while playing on the lawn, she spied a new orphan, two-year-old Randam. Their bond was instant. Randang adopting Bonita as a mother. So Lona decided to keep the pair together. Because I don't want to take them away from each other. She's going to get totally stressed out, losing her so-called mother for the second time. And she's going to lose that comfort that she needs. Now, Lona must reassess that decision as Randang's demands take a serious toll on Bonita. Randang is very, very heavy to walk around with, and Bonita's body's not quite developed to carry around a, a, such a, a large infant. The baby's attempts to suckle Bonita are also causing her pain. Because Randang is obviously trying to get milk, but there's nothing coming out. And they suckle very, very, very hard. Lona has to carefully weigh what is best for both the orphaned orangutans. It's always a tough decision to make. You know, you keep on doubting yourself. Am I, am I doing this? You know, is it right to do it? Should I leave them together? Should I take them away? You know, but I spend lots of days thinking about it. It's not something you just like make up your mind in an hour. Back at the clinic, with a heavy heart, Lona has made her painful decision. The initial idea was actually to keep Randang and, and Bonita together as a mother and child sort of team. I've come to the decision that we probably will have to split them up. Randang's demands on her foster mother are harming Bonita and could destroy her chance of ever having a life in the wild. There's no way she can carry around Randang for the rest of her life. It's just not, not feasible. After 10 months away, Bonita is about to return to her island home, where everything has changed. Bonita has a final health check a cuddle with vet Brahm. And she's ready to leave. Lona is confident Bonita has what it takes to find her niche back on her island home. I mean, I'm not a psychologist, so it's a little bit difficult to, to say how she's going to react. I mean, it might be a sad time for her as well. On the other hand, I think she will feel a lot freer. And then, the moment Lona has been dreading. Bonita spies Randan watching. Oh, there's no doubt in my mind that Randan is going to get rather upset and very probably depressed as well. But she's put on a lot of weight. She's become very confident. She sometimes also plays away from Bonita. It's best for both of them in the end. As Ron Dong cries, Bonita's new journey begins. Ada Bonita. 
Bonita has no idea that her community has expanded to include some of the Palace Island neighbors. So she's in for some surprises. Mungus is the first to spot Bonita as she approaches. It's possible Mungus recognizes Bonita. But Bonita scoots up the tree. She's not ready for friends yet. Mungus is not the shy orangutan she once was, however, and follows her. But Bonita's arrival is attracting the interest of another orangutan. It's 12-year-old Surly Samba. Bonita has never laid eyes on this huge male before. She's frightened and wants to leave. But Mungus thinks she's playing tree tag. Samba isn't letting her out of his sight. This makes Bonita head for what she thinks is safety, followed by Mungus. But Bonita's missed the boat. Samba zeroes in on the new vulnerable female. As Mungus retreats to avoid conflict. In the wild, adolescent males are known to sometimes kidnap young females. But Bonita resists. Samba knows he's trapped her. Suddenly, Bonita sees Hamlet. And recognizing the body language of dominance, she goes to him for protection. Just as Bonita thinks she is safe, Samba makes his claim. And Hamlet deserts her. Because she's been away for 10 months, it's likely Hamlet doesn't recognize her yet. 